if you needed some encouragement to like know if you need to step away, like this is the encouragement for you right now. Like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that I can share with you guys that I am actually on a solo trip to Ocean City. I took about two and a half hours to get here. But I am so glad to be here. The reason that I am even on this trip is honestly just to take a break. Um, I was starting to feel burnt out with work. <sighs> I have a Airbnb that that is just like a, a converted garage. And so we'll see together how this thing is looking. But yeah, I'm so excited. I am here really to just prioritize my mental health. I know I talk about like cooking for healthy eating and how to lose weight and all those things, but stress is just such an important thing that can really deter like your health goals. When you are really stressed, it can cause like high blood pressure, stroke. Um, now that things are starting to open back up it's just really easy to get back into the pre-pandemic like just being so busy with life I'm starting to feel that with my life and I just need to take like a step back before I jump into those things and so I just want to take you guys along with me but before I like unload we're just gonna kind of walk through it i am so excited like i have no real plans while i'm here outside of honestly like just eating a lot of food so let's get into it So I am loving the bar stool seating. Now that we've done like a tour and everything, I'm really, really hungry. So um, I had looked at some places for lunch. So we're gonna think, we're gonna look into those. Let me grab my phone because I put everything in my Notion. Okay, so I've taken a look at all of the places for food because again, I am so hungry. Um, and the two places I had looked at for today for lunch were Shark on the Harbor and Hooked. Um, I don't think either of them is too far, but everything's pretty close here. Like I haven't been to Ocean City in years, so I'm so glad to be here. And then to be like by myself, like in this space and like the neighbor has these gorgeous, golden retrievers like and they <laughs> there's two of them and they were like sitting at the top of the steps and like one of them came down like tail wagging and everything and i absolutely love dogs so that just made my heart so happy uh, again to just be here and be in a space where i can just relax um plan out content get to another level when it comes to my health this is like the perfect retreat it will just be a time of like journaling reflecting being in this really nice like if you can see it in the background this really nice like chair like just like living my best life i will definitely be sharing with you guys like what i'm eating if i'm going on like any activities or anything like that but 
yeah i'll keep you posted so stay tuned hey guys um sorry for the bad lighting the sun is going down and so it's not looking too good right now so i went to the shark on the harbor something like that i'll put the name in the bottom that was really good i literally just had oh, i had a salad and dynamite shrimp which was really tasty they gave huge portions for just happy hour i'm glad i went there though because it was kind of late it was three o'clock and so in that time they already well they were only serving happy hour and not any like actual lunch but that was okay because i really just needed like food something light but i am hungry again now and it's closer to seven sorry this light is like really changing hold on a sec okay so this is like the best lighting that i can get right now the dynamite shrimp was a pretty hefty portion but i'm hungry again so it's time to go to dinner and for dinner we're just going to sunset grill which happens to be right across the street so we're going back to the same area just 10 minutes away from where i'm staying at in this airbnb and to be honest like just to have this time to relax and like chill out and do absolutely nothing but just kind of like lay around for a couple hours since i ate lunch has been been so mentally relaxing now I do plan on doing some reading and some yoga but honestly as of right now like this is really what I was looking for like when I decided to come to Ocean City this is what I wanted this is what I needed like I don't need to go out and be fancy or anything like that like that's just not me I'm just looking for just relaxation and in the meantime like I'm just looking for good food and good vibes the reason that I wanted to just be away if you like this type of video like let me know in the comments if you want more vlogs of just healthy eating or just like healthy mindset and lifestyle i will uh check in with you guys in a little bit i don't know what i'm eating but i'm hoping it's a crab cake because i really want a good one and when you're in ocean city like that's like the thing you get is like crab I just wanted to check in and just tell you like how much I have loved again being in Ocean City as well as just relaxing <laughs> so it's been a very slow morning I made a cup of tea I read for about an hour this book psychology of money I am about to take this with me to breakfast but it is so good such an easy read I'm already about three or four chapters well three chapters in not including the introduction 950 and I have not had breakfast yet I'm really hungry but um, I still wanted to get in some steps because there's no gym around at least not like my local gym which is LA fitness so I'm just gonna walk so it's gonna be about 30 minutes at least that's what Google says so we're just gonna get in like a walk and then read while we're at the restaurant and just get in more of this knowledge because like I'm getting basically a history lesson about like retirement and investing from this and just thinking about like luck and risk and it is just so interesting to just see things from another person's perspective not only when it comes to money but just when it comes to health and everything last night so much fun um I ended up sitting at the bar 
hang out with these like older guys, like 70. <laughs> but you know, like older generations that all they wanna give is like knowledge. They were actually um, involved in like yacht companies. And so one of them was a yacht captain and the other one was like a yacht driver or yacht deliverer but you're two different things, they're brothers. And so it was just so interesting to hear them going through how they got into it. They've been doing it for like 40 plus years and then like both of them were married for 40 plus years. And it was just so cool like just talking to people and just being on good vibes. And uh, I just cannot say like how needed this trip was. I'm so sad that I'm leaving tomorrow, but I did have a crab cake sandwich and broccolini. And this is from um, Sunset Grill, so delicious. Like. You know, like if you're from Maryland, you know, like crab cakes are just not good when they have like all those fillers and breading and all that stuff that they seem to have in, have in like other areas, like in the country, if they try to do crab cakes versus like a Maryland crab cake, which is like just crab, absolutely delicious. So that was really good. Um, and just to get in my vegetables, of course, I had to have broccolini. It was different in that it I'm um, shaved, was it shaved or like sprinkled Parmesan? on it, which is really tasty. I'd never had broccolini like that before, so that was really good. But yeah, I'm still uh, just enjoying, like embracing just everything. Like I even have like my little like cafe going here from YouTube in the background and just like getting in like all of the things. So I just, I'm just so, grateful and so blessed to be able to just have this time off like having unlimited PTO at my job is really such a benefit that I do not take advantage of most of the time so just to have this week off and just reflect and enjoy myself not be in a rush like it's just so rewarding like and I think this is something that is just going on more and more like I was looking at someone else's video and they were talking about like the soft life um, I definitely want to see like what other people's like concept of that is just like because that's just so interesting to me but um, when I think about like just relaxing, being on my own time, like this is something that I'm looking forward to. So we're just gonna head to breakfast. Um, we're going to Barn 34. That's gonna be so good. It's highly rated. So all of these places actually all have like four plus stars. So, um, and that goes for Shark on the Harbor as well as like Sunset Grill and now Barn 34. So we're just gonna see how it goes and enjoy the time, enjoy the walk and keep going from there and I'll see you guys later. I just came back from Pablo's Bowls. That was just so delicious. I just wanted just the juice. So I, I definitely um, will be going back there tomorrow before I go um, back home. Just did some yoga, just to relax and just decompress. And from all of, like this reading that I've been doing, um, reading more of uh, the psychology of money. 
I just did not realize that this book was written during the pandemic and it just definitely gives more of a present day moment regarding like how I am feeling just in this moment about money and just lifestyle and intentions of things. Still haven't finished it though, but I am already at chapter seven. Definitely a quick read, very, very interesting. I highly recommend this book by Morgan Housel. It is 2.25. On my way back from Barn 34 where I had breakfast, I ended up walking past this place called In Bloom and they have like really nice plants. So I'm gonna pick one up for Mother's Day for my mom um, and it'll just be a nice terrarium. It's just funny because my mom has like a green thumb. I do not. I've killed like every plant that I've had. But she will really appreciate like the nice little succulents that will be in the terrarium. Looking forward to giving that to her um, on Mother's Day. But also having this time to just kind of walk and just take my time. Like I'm seeing so many more things about Ocean City that are just really nice. Like the nice little like art studios and all of those things. So I definitely want to come back and visit those places. I think I'll do dinner for Cinco de Mayo at this place called something in Lefties. The way they were supposed to have like these really good like tacos and stuff. So I really want a taco for Cinco de Mayo. So that's what we're gonna have. But um, in the meantime, still just relaxing and enjoying the day. Everyone's just been so nice. Like it's just such a cool vibe. I've just been on a high like, being here and having this opportunity like it's just been so amazing. I just cannot say that enough. So I'm um, just gonna get showered and cleaned up so that um, I can do the second half of the day and then probably just chill out this evening um, and not get into too much. So we're just gonna go about the day and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, I just wanna check in with you before I head on the road. I know we were talking a little bit earlier in the vlog about the soft life and I just wanted to clarify, I have like this definition how I heard about it from Cameron Monet on YouTube. I'm gonna link her video in the description. But what I really like so much is that, and actually she had found this description from uh, Black Sweets on Instagram. And really with the soft life, my understanding of it in this definition I think just really sums it up and I'm just gonna look at it on my phone because she has a screenshot, so I'm just gonna share that. Destroy the idea that you have to be constantly working or grinding in order to be successful. Embrace the concept that rest, recovery, and reflection are essential parts of the progress towards a successful, happy life. And I know my channel is all about like nutrition and healthy lifestyle, but this is such a key piece as well. Like when you think about like your happy life or what it means for you to be successful, and whether that's with, I'll say externally or internally, just thinking about like, what does that mean to you? What does that mean for you to be healthy? Are you really looking for that rest? For me, like I was saying earlier, I was feeling so burned out that I had to just get away. And yes, I work from home full time, but just to be in the day to day, like it's so hard to separate your mindset when you are working full time and you are also a content creator. And I'm just now in this content creator space. It takes a lot for you mentally to be consistent with that. What you're doing for your day-to-day -day job takes a lot out of you mentally and then you have to switch basically from spending eight hours on a computer doing work for someone else and then shifting to another like, however many hours for your business and it can be a lot. I really just needed a space to like just reset and recover and reflect about like what it is that I'm doing and wanting to continue in this space while also wanting to be successful with my full-time job. I know that I cannot be the only one that is thinking this and that is going through this and that feels this from time to time. I just really wanted to um, share with you guys that if you don't take this time or take a time, however often it may be, to recover and mentally take a space for yourself, you will burn out. I know people that have done it several times and it's just not healthy for your body. If you have that time like, and if you have that ability, like, please take it. Like, Prioritize your mental health, prioritize your physical 
your physical health. Prioritize those things for yourself and I'm sure that you won't regret it. Taking this only like couple days for me to step away has just been so gratifying. And I want all of you to have that same type of gratification. And I'm definitely gonna reset with my nutrition and just stepping up my game when it comes to um, how I'm treating my body. But that doesn't just go for me, that goes for everyone. If you needed to know, like and now that we're about to go into summer and we're still like towards the end of spring, if you needed some encouragement to like know if you needed to step away, like this is the encouragement for you right now. Like, you have it right here. And I just want to thank you so much for like watching my channel and watching my videos. And I know that I'm just new in this creator space, but I'm already feeling like ups and downs and emotionally it can be very tough. And I need the encouragement too. And I'm sure that anyone else who is new in the space or maybe even like been in the space for a while, they're looking for that encouragement too. And I just want to give that to you. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you will use this time to reset for yourself and discover your own soft life. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.